Boom. Right, guys, what have we got here? Well, we've got more break-even point stuff, okay? Um, so we've got a little case study here. Um, now, again, this is from uh, a previous uh, GCSE paper, okay? But it's just worthwhile just practicing these break-even calculations. Make sure you're really, really good on them. Um, so, of course, pause the video now if you want to have a crack at just completing these ones, okay? Uh, so let's have a little run through. Well, profit, this isn't actually distinguishing between gross profit and net profit. Uh, now, therefore, it's worth us actually just uh, uh, determining the difference here, okay? So in its most basic form, total, total revenue minus total cost gives you your profit, okay? Uh, but uh, you need to be aware of gross profit. Gross profit is, of course, your revenue minus your cost of sales. That is uh, really the cost of buying stock or inventories. Um, okay, so revenue minus cost of sales equals your gross profit. Uh, then you've got your net profit. Okay, so um, net profit is your gross profit minus your expenses. Now, those expenses are the indirect costs involved in running a business, like paying rent, uh, mortgage repayments, uh, could be electricity, heating, salaries, uh, whereas the uh, cost of sales is really dealing with the direct costs. Okay, uh, so let's move it on now. And now calculate the break-even point uh, when each bird feeder is priced at eight pounds. Let's just go to uh, one page. Okay, so... Um, Right, so we've got monthly fixed cost 930. Uh, we've got one pound 80 per bird feeder. Okay, so of course break even point equals uh, fixed cost divided by your price minus your variable cost, your unit contribution. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that you've got 930 pounds, 930 divided by a price of eight pounds minus. One pound eighty. Okay, so we've got. Uh, therefore, let's uh, just rewrite that as uh, what six pound twenty. Okay, so nine thirty divided by six pound uh, six pound twenty. So let's just put that through. Oh, you can see how easy it is to make mistakes. Like my clumsy fingers there. Okay, right. So nine thirty divided by six point two. Uh, okay, so we're looking at one hundred and fifty uh, of these bird feeders for ecovation there. Right. So calculate the profit or loss that ecovation uh, will make if it sells its entire stock of four hundred bird feeders. Uh, so if you've seen the previous video on this, you should be uh, you should be pretty good on this, okay? Uh, the first thing you're likely to want to do, rather than doing total revenue minus total cost, which is just hard work, okay? It's really hard work, and since you know the break-even point uh, is 150, what you can do, you can actually work out your margin of safety, um, okay? So your margin of safety is, of course, going to be uh, your actual output, which is going to be 400 bird feeders, 400 minus 150. Okay, so 400 minus 150, that of course gives us 250. Very nice. Uh, and then we can go back to this figure that we had for our unit contribution. And look at this, right? So 250 times 6.2 equals 1,000. Uh, 550 so that is the expected profit uh, should they manage to sell through all of their bird feeders okay let's uh, just review uh, the break-even point in currency let's just do that quickly because of course uh, students previously weren't tested on this but you guys are right so what do we got to do to work that out well all we've got to do is take the break-even point okay and then multiply through by the price, okay? Uh, now, therefore, we would simply go 150 times that eight pounds, okay? So your break-even point in currency would therefore be 150 times uh, eight pounds equals 1,200. Okay, so the actual revenue needed to break even is 1,200 pounds. Okay, uh, that's the break-even in currency. Nice one, we really are done now. Thanks, guys.